Good evening, everyone, and welcome to our Wednesday night today service. I'd like to thank everyone for joining us across our Facebook community. And I'd like to thank my son for knocking the water on the floor. Thank you, Reese. Be reconciled, all who enter here. Parents and children, husbands and wives, believers and those who cannot believe, Christians and their fellow Christians, the people are invited to sing on all songs. The first scripture reading today comes from Psalms 13. How long, O Lord, how long? How long wilt thou forget me, O Lord, forever? How long wilt thou hide thy face from me? How long shall I take counsel in my soul, having sorrow in my heart daily? How long shall mine enemy be exalted over me? Consider and hear me, O Lord my God. Lighten mine eyes, lest I sleep the sleep of death. Lest mine enemy say, I have prevailed against him. And those that trouble me when rejoice when I am moved. But I have trusted in thy mercy. My heart shall rejoice in thy salvation. I will sing unto the Lord, because he hath dealt bountifully with me.
The second scripture reading today comes from John 10, 1 through 10. I am the good shepherd. Verily, verily, I say unto you, he that entereth not by the door into the sheepfold, but climbeth up some other way, the same is a thief and a robber. But he that entereth in the door is the shepherd of the sheep. To him the porter openeth, and the sheep hear his voice. And he calleth his own sheep by name, and leadeth them out. And when he put forth his own sheep, he goeth before them, and the sheep follow him. For they know his voice. And a stranger will they not follow? but will flee from him, for they know not the voice of the stranger. This parable spake Jesus unto them, but they understood not what things they were which he had spake unto them. Then said Jesus unto them again, Verily, verily, I say unto you, I am the door of the sheep. All that ever came before me are thieves and robbers, but the sheep did not hear them. I am the door. By me, if any man enter in, he shall be saved and shall go in and out and find pasture. The thief cometh not, but for to steal and to kill and to destroy. I am come that they might have life and that they might have it more abundantly. This is the word of God for the people of God. Let us pray. O Lord, our Lord, how excellent is your name in all the earth. 
How glorious is your grace. How amazing is your love. As the shadows of evening gather around us, we pause. We pause to sing our prayers. We pause to lift our voices, our hearts, our lives to you, O oh God. You are our maker, our redeemer. Thank you, O oh Lord, for all the ways you have bound us together by your enormous, everlasting love. Remind us that the way we live affects those around us. We seek to be transformed by your love so that that amazing power of grace and forgiveness and understanding may flow in and through us to your world. We lift up your world this night, O oh God, and we pray for help in living with this virus. We pray for all of those who suffer and struggle, not only with illness, but with basic needs of life. Oh God, we understand that you are a generous God. As we live into your generosity, may we share it with those around us. May our words and actions be uplifting and encouraging. May we help to make a way where there seems to be no way. You, Lord, are the light, light of our lives, light for the world. Shine in us, shine through us until all the world knows your love. And together we come to you with humble hearts, grateful hearts, hearts filled with love. As the shadows of evening gather, O oh God, we are grateful. Quiet our soul, lead us into rest, for in your holy and gracious name we pray, amen. Thank you.